These parts are a set of connecting rods for a project, mainly just engineering or aesthetic samples. Uh, they're made out of aluminum. We have the main part of the rod here, and then we have the clamp that goes around the crankshaft. So it would be assembled around the crankshaft in this fashion. the clamping brackets on the back here. They were machined in a strip of aluminum with the tool profiling it first and then the second tool coming in and doing a corner round on the back side. Then they were cut off of the bar, flipped over, faced to thickness, and then the corner round done on the back side. And then they get flipped up vertically and the counter bores and the holes drilled through them these get screwed together we have these little 256 round-headed brass screws here and thread into the rod itself and these are milled parts so the inside bore on these will need to be finished to the size for whatever shaft uh, they're going to be in this case uh, they're going on a half inch crankshaft bearing surface and I think the way that uh, a lot of engines and other things are set up is they're matched sets. After these are assembled they would either be reamed or bored or somehow uh, machined so that the inside surface matches the diameter exactly with whatever fit that is desired. So once these are reamed or bored then they would normally be stamped and then they would remain a matched set that would need to stay together. How these work, this is kind of an interesting different setup on this one. Crankshaft is going to be on this side and these will be interfacing with not a piston but another piece similar to these that's going to form a universal joint. These are going to rotate around this way giving movement on the other side and that allows us to have a pivot point here that will absorb any angle angular motion we have uh, for the part moving on this side. So this is how these get assembled. We have a set of six here for this project.
This is one of the more exciting spots in a project for me. I like when we get to the end and we have a whole bunch of parts that we've made, test fitting them and seeing how they work in the project they were intended for. I also usually end up discovering new interesting things just playing with a batch of parts that we just made. It can be very interesting to see what kinds of shapes, shadows, and colors, and textures you can end up with. Just playing around with them and getting different configurations and stacking. It often inspires me to play around with some different designs of a similar part. Often it makes me want to try them in a different material, mix and match the materials for colors and different finishes. It's always a little bit different than you imagine it will be when you're designing them and either drawing them on paper or creating them in CAD and seeing them emerge from the material. It's always kind of exciting to see what that unexpected impression is going to be.